Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Between Empires mod. It seems like the game won't allow me to end this campaign as it keeps dragging on. Now with a uh, kind, kind, not catastrophic war, because everyone is at war with everyone, so my armies have been able to um, attack everyone and destroy them. Um, but still, we are at war with basically everyone, and um, yeah, let's just go ahead and remind ourselves who we're at war with. So, the French Republic, the Russian Empire, the Austro-Hungarians, the Ottoman Empire, the Spanish Empire, Switzerland, Kingdom of Portugal, British Colonies, Emirate of Afghanistan, French Commune, Kingdom of Greece, Kingdom of Romania, Kingdom of Sweden, Kingdom of Norway. So the few ones that we're not war with would be the Kingdom of Belgium, the Kingdom of Denmark, the Dutch, the Kingdom of the Dutch, I guess. What the, is that a republic? No, it's the Kingdom. And I don't know if there is any. Oh, yeah, the. Uh, no, that's the Spanish Empire. Did the Moroccans have an empire? Or is that. I don't think so. There's um, Oman, right? We're not at war with Oman. But otherwise, we're basically at war with everyone. Even, even Kabul has declared war on us. Unfortunately for everyone else, um, their armies are broken up. But I thought this would be an interesting opportunity to go through a lot of nations we haven't fought with. Now, last video I ended off by fighting the French and I took this out, which I liked. And then, since then, I've set my armies free to roam the countryside, as it were, and attack our enemies. And they've taken over quite a bit of the Swiss territory. They've taken Bern and Zurich. Zurich. Uh, and then they've also taken Prague. That's the most recent one. But I will take back control of the army because I want to do my own little expedition going north into Norway. So we're at war with Norway and Sweden. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and completely take out Norway in this episode. And I'm going to give it to Sweden uh, to peace them out. And then we got peace in the north. And then from there, I mean, I could probably piece out the Swiss already, since we've got territory from the uh, Austro-Hungarians, we could probably piece them out as well. And I might have a crack at uh, taking more from the Russians, just so I can actually have control, like proper control, over Moscow. Similar what I have with London and Paris. And then we can truly like end it. Obviously I want to marry the prude as well. Uh, we're at relationship 20 now. And since I have like... I think I have close to 10 in persuasion at this point. So I could probably go ahead and persuade her to go through with it. We just need to talk with her dad afterwards. And right now he doesn't even acknowledge he has a daughter. I guess it's that bad that he that she's uh, planning to marry a, a, the German Empire, the German Emperor. First things first, I will replace him. I shall be Marshal. For the only thing that I am now in control of military... Um... um the, yeah, I'm in control of the military. Basically, what I want to do is I want to ramp up the conscription because I was getting two two soldiers a day, and that's not enough. I want a full ten. Uh, high infamy. I don't care. We're gonna move to Oslo first, and then we're gonna hit Bergen. And once that's all taken over, we're gonna hand it over to Sweden. Uh, and the, in that way, secure peace. Looks like there's no way over. I guess I could 
I guess there's a yeah, there is a route over from Great Britain. There's actually two routes, but there's no route straight across here. We'll have to go through Sweden actually to head up through there. No problem though. I think that uh, we could handle any Swedish army that turns up. Or am I? Uh, he currently, he's heading over. I'm not sure. Maybe they made it a mistake in making it that you can't actually cross. The river is up here, which would, which could be the case actually. So would the only way that we could attack is from this, because right now when I click on Oslo, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'll try and make it there. Right, we're heading. Wait, we can't. Get there. I'm sh I'm sure there's a way over. Um, we're gonna head back to Berlin real quick. I'll I guess I'll just cut it out and I'll make my way over there. In due time. So as it turns out, you can't actually cross those rivers. So you can't attack, which I guess is a very big upside for the Norwegians to protect themselves from Sweden, but that's definitely an oversight in whoever made the map that Sweden can't attack Norway, but I guess that's also kind of, it kind of works well because Norway is so much smaller than Sweden that it would be um, kind of an easy target for Sweden to just to take them out, and especially going directly for their capital since they've only got two areas. All right, we're gonna lay siege to this first. It's only got 92 soldiers, while I have 154. Oh yeah, and I've also gone ahead and switched out, switched it up a little bit. I decided to switch it up to just have the light howitzers. Light howitzers and machine guns. Now I've brought extra. Uh, you can only field about 5 and five and 10 guns, and I have 12 guns and 8 machine guns. Um, but that's just to get that extra. Anyways, Bergen first. And then we're going to go for Oslo. Or Oslo, Oslo. And Bergen. Oh, would you look at that? The Norwegians are actually one of the nations that still has a capable army. Because two armies rode up to me here and attacked me. So we're looking at an enemy force of about 275, I think. Uh, we're actually um, good relationship with this guy. Yeah, 274 against my 154. I'm not entirely sure what they have, but this was not this expected at all. We haven't run into an enemy um, con concentrated enemy force for a long time. But then again, as Norway is seemingly only accessible from Great Britain, it kind of makes sense that their armies are intact in a completely different way than other forces. Anyways, let's dig in and prepare to defend against this Norwegian attack. Quite interesting. It's the first one where we actually get snow. Uh, we haven't had a snow map at all. So that's kind of perfect, actually. We've been all... Well, then we have been uh, all over the place, really. I wonder if... I guess the, uh, the trenches are still going to be, like... Sand, dirt trenches I imagine would be cool if it actually was like if it turned into snow we're gonna dig in I'm thinking we're gonna dig in on this ridge up here and then with the machine guns up here I want the Norwegians to come closer so I'm gonna tell everyone to hold fire right now we're gonna dig in. So first regiment dig in, second regiment dig in. 
stormtroopers ready to back up. I was just about to ask where the Norwegian artillery was, but there we find that out. Uh, actually, I could build a trench for the back here. This one's actually pretty poor position. Right, fired will again. Except for my artillery, because that's going to fire on me right now. Oh, there we go! Hand grenades! Finally, it seems the hand grenade option is there. So I gave order to the third company to throw grenades. Uh, Shock Trooper Company can only launch grenades so and so often. Okay. And it was the third, so th these guys back here. Well, we're gonna let the enemy get closer then. So that we can launch hand grenades at them. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, uh, machine guns need to be moved forward. I was wondering, because it, it took so long for it to actually turn up. This is like a perfect position to fire down upon them. And then we've got our troops ready here. Okay, we're losing quite a bit of troops. Everyone will take more of a defensive position. Also, when the Norwegians get closer, I want my artillery to immediately be ready to fire gas on them. I want to wait until they get close enough that I can throw... that they're actually going to throw hand grenades. Okay, fourth company. They're pretty close now. Fire at will. Doesn't look like they threw grenades. Oh, was that grenades? Or was that... That might have been grenades. I don't know if that was grenades. They're being thrown. That's probably my artillery instead. So the uh, lighted guns, I guess, are supposed to be firing more uh, quickly, but it's it's very inaccurate. I thought that would be more accurate, actually, but it's not. Kind of doesn't work when the troops are sitting down. Standard will, because uh, right now the guys are getting way too close. Third group. 12 seconds until they can throw hand grenades. Look, the Norwegians are trying to storm the trenches. Four seconds. I don't know if the Norwegians are close enough to third. Oh, third is over there. It was fourth that I was looking at then. Fourth to get closer. Everyone keep firing well. Launch hand grenades. I kind of... Oh, I kind of... I think I saw him actually throw a hand grenade. Because I think... I, we'll have to look more closely at them. You know... They kind of stuck down there, so that kind of gives me an opportunity to ride up, join the fight. Kind of push fire down on the... Uh, Norwegians here. Mm, might have done better with a rifle. A 
There's a machine gunner over there that kind of needs to take out. It's actually multiple. Let's see, not a lot of Norwegians left. There's about 15 of them left, actually. Everyone forward? Did someone scare away my horse? Is it dead? God damn it. Right, over the top anyways. We're down from the top, I guess, at this point. I thought the artillery barrage would be more uh, extensive. I'm gonna go ahead and look at what they're doing. I thought it would be like a massive amount of explosions, but it wasn't. And here are all my troops moving forward from the mountains. So the, Amer uh, the Americans, the Norwegians tried to relieve the siege of Bergen, but clearly that didn't work. The Norwegians only brought a single artillery piece, which is um, actually manned by mostly Swedish troops for some reason. I guess Sweden gave them that cannon, who knows. My troops are li a little bit disappointed in my troops not being able to shoot them at that close range. And also the fact that my cannons are now shooting our own troops, basically. Who is this? Oh, look at that. He holds a grenade in his hand. You know, hand grenade attacks might work better when we come into actual town battle and we stand below a trench and then I order them to throw the grenade. But clearly this guy is holding a hand grenade, so it seemed to be somewhat working. Anyways, here's the casualties. So on our side we take 28 casualties, we're 7 killed, 16 wounded, 5 routed. The enemy takes 146, where in which 115 are killed, 20 are wounded, and 11 are routed. Still leaves them with 139, and now it's our turn to attack. Moving my troops into position, we've got a massive hill where we start. Um, you can see my troops moving forward. I mean, I can't think of a better position for the machine guns here. To just rain down hell upon the Norwegian troops. But it looks like they are preparing to dig in. And they are digging in. Uh, this area in the back. This one I think we're going to have a good chance of actually seeing how the grenades work. Uh, we've got quite a bit of Norwegians here. Do they have any machine guns anywhere? That I need to know about. The machine guns are all concentrated over there. Which is good because I can take out these two companies without interfering much with this. So risk here for my own machine guns being targeted by the enemy. They're currently not shooting so we're going to bring them down with the regiments that are going to move forward here towards the enemy. We're going to see about, because it's so many valleys and hills and stuff, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to move a group close enough, say if we can move a group here, and then see about using the grenades. So I think we should move the stormtroopers here immediately, actually. So the mo stormtroopers are going to be moving down into the valley, and then first and second company is going to be moved to this side with the machine gun aiding them starting to kind of flank this area so troops moving forward is that friendly artillery or enemy artillery 
They might have brought... Yeah, they still have just a single gun. They haven't also... They haven't dug in everyone yet, as well. Yeah, again, it's the Swedes to bring the artillery. Don't know. I guess the Norwegians aren't building their own. Right now, we're focusing our artillery here, but I kind of want to focus it over here. So I'm wondering if I should tell my battery... To actually move over to like here and then they will be able to focus on this third group let's see that group is now retreating are we close enough to use grenades we're gonna test out so at this range I'm ordering hand grenades Cannot launch grenade attack. Wrong company type. Only shock troops. This is shock troops. This is shock troops that I've selected. Okay, I don't... They're not close enough. I guess they need to be closer. To throw the grenades. We might have a better chance here. But then we need to take these guys out. Let's see, is the artillery started yet? Oh, what, what, oh! Where did I order you guys to go? I must have accidentally moved them somewhere. I want you guys to move over here. So the enemy has been pushed back here. First and second company will move down into the valley. Followed by the machine guns. Um... Not too far, actually. Because I want to see if we can get a good grenade throw. And I'm, I'm going to have one of my groups. I have the third group, actually. So third is going to move into column. And I think we'll be able to get tighter formation. Set up closer within grenade throwing range. And we have a pretty good chance of actually throwing the grenades. Okay, so third group is now going to move in. Look at that. With a flag and everything. So orderly. Oh, one guy died. I mean... How much closer do you have to get? Cannot throw. I'm gonna order them to take an E. Clearly didn't work. Heavy artillery throw. Oh, wait, are they grenades being thrown? I think the enemy might be throwing grenades at us. I don't know, but the, the those small things bouncing around. I wonder if that's a grenade. But I'm not sure. 20 seconds. Let's see. Uh, let's actually order fourth company to charge. Oof, we're losing a lot here in third. Four seconds. We just... I think we just blew up our own... There! There we go! I saw him throw it. Before the company was annihilated. Okay, my stormtroopers overtook their position. The machine gunners... Trying... What are they doing here? It's like a Monty Python sketch. They were running around each other. Okay, so we lost a lot of troops in that experiment. But at least... I should have been closer, but at least I saw them actually throw the hand grenade. 
But yeah, you might have to be quite close to do that. Preparing to strike the last bit here. We lost a lot of our stormtroopers in that. Right, troops forward. Let's prepare for the last bit here. I'm gonna order the troops to attack over the top. We're gonna see about doing the grenade bit again. Just before the attack. I think we probably need to go back to heavy artillery again. Because uh, these smaller ones are not as good. <laughs> it bounced. The will of God just saved us. I think actually second company could be... No, oh, it's first. First could be put... Right into the flank. While well, second is backing up the stormtroopers. Yeah, obviously they can't throw. Okay, we've got... Let's, let's look closely now. We can get these guys to throw. There! There. They are throwing. Okay, so we got some grenade hits. I think those those hits here are definitely grenades. Oh, and he forces the enemy back. Everyone over the top. Okay, so grenades do work. It's pretty cool, actually. And it definitely, like, forced the enemy to retreat. I'm gonna tell my... need to tell my cannons to hold fire. Completely overrun the position there. One thing that I did forget was in this attack I should have brought up the uh, MGs to sit on the edge here and shoot down. Uh, we took quite a lot of casualties. We're looking at about 60 casualties. Oof. That guy just got shoveled. De-shoveled, maybe. One could say. But there we have it. So, yeah, we took 57 casualties. 14 killed, 38 wounded, 5 routed, while the Norwegians took 115, where which 84 killed, 10 wounded, 21 routed. There's only got 39 troops left. And I think I can order my troops to attack without me supporting it. 5 killed towards the enemies. Um, no, I'm not going to take you prisoner. We've got Norwegian troops, but no, I'm not interested in any of that. Um, uh, don't pick fights with him. So how many troops do I left? I still have 128. 79 of them are ready for battle. 10 hours until we attack. Ah, oh, shit, there's another Norwegian army. Let's see if we can get a little bit more troops ready for this fight. 89. I don't know. Could I go down the coast? We want a, uh, a battle in the hills, I think. 92. Yeah, we're going to hold here and fight them. I actually like these battles more when we fight on the field rather than, you know, fighting over the same plot of land over and over again. It's obviously more in theme of the World War One of fighting over the same, you know, dirt over and over again until it turns into nothingness. 
Um, but this is definitely more interesting, and especially now with the, the winter edition. Right, let's get our troops in order. Um, the high hill. Send my troops there immediately. And then the artillery will deploy as it is in its current position. And start to shell the enemy. Definitely need to switch to heavy artillery. I don't think uh, these guns are working out too well. Because I was expecting to get more, sh like quickly, more shells to come out or be fired by these. And then having 10 of them would, you know, absolutely... Shit. I am actually hitting him a little bit. And I think that's friendly artillery fire as well. Dude didn't even have a sword. Okay, we've cleared it. Um, I want 1st Regiment to set a trench there. And I want the 2nd Regiment to set a trench there. I want the machine guns on the top. And then I want 3rd and 4th group on either side. Let's prepare. Why are they walking so slow? I didn't know what... Oh, they... Yeah, because they climbed the hill. The Stormtroopers climbed fine. But the... Uh, Infantry companies is a little bit of a different story. We should just do stormtroopers throughout. I don't see any point why we shouldn't. At this point, anyways. Would you look at that. Wonderful. Actually, we can move first group and what was it fourth yeah first and fourth can move uh, to a better position here did I say first yeah no 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 clearly not second and fourth dig in fourth right behind you Okay, I want the Norwegians to get closer just so I can throw grenades at them. The Norwegians are closing in. I'm giving the Stormtroopers the order to throw grenades. And then I'm giving my troops the order to fire at will. We can see some craters here where our troops are throwing the grenades. Just making sure that everyone is throwing grenades. Norwegian guy managed to get into the trench. He's about to get his shovel in his face. No! Bastard survived. Oh, this trench is... Uh, kind of being overrun there. I shouldn't have done, done fall out. I don't think I... Uh, I don't think I actually hit anyone. That guy definitely hit. I, I think we've got them. Oh shit, shit, shit. The enemy machine guns got me in their sights. I managed to survive though, that's a first. Got up. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Who is that guy in the big coat that always just runs around with a grenade in his hand? I think he got shot now. Uh, let's see if we can find him. 
He was there a second ago. I definitely... There he goes. He dropped the grenade. Right, it was a single division. It's defeated. And we are yet again victorious. But this turned into to the third battle. Um, and we didn't take a town. I don't want to make the videos too long. I think I have enough for one episode of uh, our Norwegian escapade. And there we have it. Um, didn't manage to take anything substantial from the Norwegians like I had thought. But I'm pretty sure that we will eventually. What kind of gun do you have? Wait, 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 wait. What do you have? What in the name of... Excuse me, but what is that? Have we... I need to find out what kind of weapon that is. And use it in the next episode. Huh. Damn. Anyways, in this battle we took 42 casualties compared to 122 of the enemy. Uh, he managed to escape. At this point... Um... Lydia Gloria. Yeah, I have to get rid of a lot of... Um... um a lot of the new characters, unfortunately. Because they're upsetting the old ones. I still have 55 men ready out of 110. And Bergen only had 92 defenders. And I just got another 10 troops in reinforcements, so that's good. Let's see, I want to just see. Um, but we are indisposed. I am in Norway, 92. And I have 75 right now. They've got howitzer crews, and it's going to be difficult to attack. We're going to hang out there on the side of the mountain for now. Lydia Gloria and Garrett Jeffrey, I know, is causing trouble with my regular guys, so we're going to have to get rid of those guys. Um, but yeah. I guess for the set next episode we'll continue this because I still want to like take take something here. My plan is to take all of it and give it to Sweden so we can piece out that part and then you know there's not a lot more to do. Hopefully I can piece out a lot of these people pretty darn soon and we'll get the marriage. I guess we'll work towards the marriage, once the marriage is done, it will be, e because that's currently the harder task to accomplish, because I don't know if it even works, but once that is done, and, you know, one last against, one last against the Russians, we could call it quits. But for now, for this episode, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.